You're the hero. I'm gonna be dutiful. On the way to the Overlord's castle, you spot a maiden heading back towards the village. The Overlord will be peasant. Hmm. On your way back to the Overlord's castle, you spot a maiden heading back towards the village. She couldn't have come for the Overlord's castle, could she? This may be the exact maiden you're currently seeking to rescue. You approach her with curiosity. She runs from you for some reason. You wonder what that's all about, but then you remember that you're covered with demon blood. Not wanting to look like you're a crazy person chasing after her or anything, you nonchalantly walk back to town. As you walk past the town square, you notice that the whole village is crowded around. Is that the maiden you saw over there? He's bound to a wooden stake. The crowd is in a frenzy. Smoke begins to rise, and you stand idly by as flames consume the maiden. She must have done something horrible to deserve that. You decide to call the day and return to your house, but you can't escape this sinking feeling. Maybe you aren't cut out for this role. Ah. A very fitting realization. A spectator hero end. So, let's not be dutiful. Flee like a coward. <laughs> Your reputation will be ruined. Take your chances at the castle. You're a hero after all. This is your job. On your way there, you spot a babe heading back towards the village. Oh no, she's being cancelled! Violently. Watch hero, very justice. Wow! She could, she could have come for the Overlord's castle, could she? This may be the exact maid that you're currently seeking to rescue. You approach her with curiosity. You ask the maiden what she's doing. Doesn't she know that the Overlord's castle is, like, right there? It's dangerous! The maiden explains that she spoke with the Overlord. It turns out that the demons never had any diabolical plans to harm the village or anyone in it. Oh. She can't be trusted. Oh, this is the this is the default. Wait, did we just pick up another uh Which did we just pick up another personality trait? We just picked up another personality trait for Hero. She can't be trusted. You aren't sure you should, you should listen to this maiden. You've been taught your whole life that demons are evil. You ask if she's sure about all this, but she gets very upset that you think she would lie to you. She storms off before you can say anything else. You decide to return to the village. Certain that she must have been must have been the kidnapped maiden you were sent to rescue. Glad that took care of itself. Take your time walking home. Job well done today, you think of yourself. Alright. Maiden? Maidenless? She seems nice, though, you think. If it comes in all forms, you reassure yourself. You decide to call the dead return to your house, but you can't escape this sinking feeling. Maybe you aren't cut out for this new role. And that's the other side of the spectator hero end. Yeah, well, we picked up a fourth trait. Trusting comes in before diplomatic. Leave the maiden's story. Let's jump into this again. Even though I did save, believe her story. You have no reason to assume she's lying to you. Even though her story is kind of hard to believe, you feel you should trust her. You tell her you're pretty surprised that everyone has been wrong about demons all along. Townspeople must be informed of this immediately. Two of you returned to the village. They had all been so worried. They praise you for your bravery. The maiden quickly sets the record straight. There was nothing she needed to be rescued from in the first place. The villagers look to you for explanation. Lightly informed that it isn't your story to tell. You really ran into her on the way from the castle. Oh no. She explains that the Overlord isn't interested in capturing maidens or anything of the sort. Yeah. The villagers turn to you again in disbelief. They aren't being subtle at how little they trust this maiden's story. Oh. Interesting. You totally believe her, but to placate these fair citizens, you volunteer to speak to the demons personally, just in case. The crowd breaks into hushed whispers. You're too busy thinking what a great and reliable hero you are to hear what they're saying. What? The town elder's voice breaks you out of your thoughts. He implores you to meet with the Overlord immediately and says they'll all keep an eye on the maiden until you return. I figure that sounds alright, but the mood is kind of intense for some reason. Did you miss something? 
You aren't sure what's going on, but you get the feeling it might be bad to leave the maid on her own. But she suddenly takes off running. Oh, you thought the two of you were with this together. Ah. Uh, oh dear. Her actions have convinced the crowd that she's obviously been a liar and a witch from the start. People are shouting for you to hunt her, hunt her and, and her demon friends down already. That doesn't sound like a very heroic task. You can help but feel these people are wrong. It's up to you to catch up to her and talk to the demons in order to clear up this misunderstanding. You valiantly dash after the maiden towards the Overlord's castle. But you were too late. Oh, Jesus. Through the unguarded gates, you spot a group of demons surrounding a body. Maiden. She was a fool to have trusted the demons after all. Your hero blood is boiling. You'll avenge her death. You charge through the gates to eliminate every demon you see. What the fuck are you doing killing all my soldiers? The Overlord is angry. You want to vow to exterminate her and all demon kind. You clash that again and again, but the Overlord isn't going down easily. Both dangerously low on health when... Everything goes black. Quest has come to an abrupt end. <gasps> Underling! Foster check. Oh, while we sit and ponder this twist of fate we have found ourselves in. Let's adjust our posture. Posture. Straighten up. That little... That little gremlin fucking ended us. Yeah, how did we get there? Did that overlord say fuck? Correct. So, we leave here with trusting. And diplomatic. Well, it won't matter if we get there. Burn at the stake. Trusting. Mm. Coward under the perhaps. It seems like antisocial overlord somehow prevents the assassination attempt. Like, the demon soldier is killing the maiden. Makes me think that the assassination attempt happened, but the Overlord's still alive, so... What the heck? Yeah. Well, personally, I'm going to, uh... Maiden here. Because I just love the maiden's theme. All right, she introduced the Overlord. She lectures the underling that brought you here. He was apparently told not to leave their post. I wonder what cruel punishment awaits them. But to your surprise, she lets them off easy. The underling is dismissed, and the Overlord turns to you, looking very interested. All right, she squints at you. We will leave. We will leave. Along the way, you encounter a hero. Yes, see what you're doing. Don't you know the Overlord's castle is, like, right there? You explain everything that happened. He's very surprised that demons don't seem to be as malicious as you were raised to believe. Two of you returned to the village, hoping to communicate this to everyone. They'd all been so worried and are very glad that the hero brought you back. Yeah, we we do, we have not seen that branch yet, when the hero just chats with the maiden, the overlord, instead of just stabbing everyone. I'm going this path first because I have a feeling it unlocks another personality trait for the maiden. That'll stop her from running. You quickly set the record straight. You weren't rescued because there was nothing to be rescued from in the first place. The villagers seem confused and look to the hero for an explanation. He tells them he only ran into you on the way back to the castle. And that this isn't really his story to tell. You explain to them how you met the overlord and that they, she's not actually interested in capturing mains or other mean things like that. The villagers look again to the hero for confirmation. If you're a little miff, they seem to prefer his word over yours, but you don't say anything about it. The hero proclaims that he believes your story, but volunteers to go talk to the demons himself, just to make absolutely sure. The crowd breaks into hushed whispers. 
Your words like trickery and demon sympathizer are being thrown around, which makes you frown. You're pretty shocked that everyone's this hesitant to believe you. Does the hero even trust you? You aren't sure anymore. The old man implores the hero to go speak with the overlord immediately. He says you should be held prisoner and considered dangerous until the hero returns. Let your disbelief, the crowd agrees with him. So of course, if you're conspiring with the demons, they can't afford to let their guard down. The whole village will be slaughtered by monsters. The hero isn't saying anything. To be tied up and tossed into a cell at this rate. If you're going to be held captive by anyone, it's going to be the overlord. Not your fellow countrymen. Oh, okay. Resolute. Leave on your own. Improve yourself without anyone's help. Make a run for the Overlord's castle, leaving the hero behind. Alright. A suspicious group of demons stand just outside the entrance. They're talking about assassinating the Overlord. She can, yes. They immediately notice you overheard them. The only thing you recognize from before is the first to do something about it. It's just the way it has to be. They suddenly attack you. At that moment, you regret having ever trusted the demons. Okay. So that's how this plays out. Planning assassination attempt, but before the actual assassination attempt. I demanded, I demanded demonic captor. Not just that, I demanded a cute demonic captor. You die instantly. <laughs> Slaughtered made an end. Yeah, pretty much. Which means that loyal underling is definitely going to change this outcome. I just love Maiden's theme. May her? This will lead us to a death, but... Okay, okay. As you get closer, you start to notice a tower of black smoke darkening the beautiful blue sky. Castles engulfed in flames. What in God's name could have happened? This could be the, uh... The... Burn staircase ending. Yeah, this is gonna be the burn staircase ending. Oh, I do love that, yeah. Guess to find her? Yep. Forgotten your role. Only a hero could pull this kind of thing off. Yep. Can't get out. Because when... Underling doesn't plan the assassination attempt. Get the demon fire cleanse your rotten soul. Ooh! This is the other way to selfless to the selfless maiden ending. I see. So I suppose. Try out Resolute. I just love Maiden's theme! I have to I have to run through this just for uh Yeah. I love Maiden's theme, it's so charming. Grab the hero and run. You boldly announce that you'll accompany the hero to prove yourself. You'd rather risk what's out there instead of staying in a village that doesn't trust you. Pick up the hero like a twig and run around with him. <laughs> Excellent. No one seems to know how to react. You grab the hero by the wrist and take off before anyone stops you. Near the castle's entrance, you spy a group of suspicious demons congregating. They're talking about assassinating the Overlord. You have to war- Okay, so now we're on the, uh... Hmm, now and ever. Yep. So we- That's just where we all burned. Underling here. Color shift, yep. So that's that's how they uh That's how we all get back that's how they all got back to the castle for that particular underling ending. Everyone's shouting each other now. Yeah. Major color shift. Plan A option for you. And this is this is a brutal ending. Maiden's path, she's just sitting there praying, dying, watching her friend murder her underling. 
consumed by flames. That's a very brutal ending. Now... Hero's Path. Feel like a coward. Leave her story. We'll go home together. You stand there not sure what to do, but the maiden announces that she's going to prove her story to the village. She drags you along with her. She has much better odds with you around, so you don't object. Adventure awaits. I like the differing... I like the differing color palettes. With the same CGs. Depending on who's the uh, player character here. All right. Suspicious demons hanging around near the entrance. Can't help overhear the conversation. Like, this, we're seeing this scene in a very different color palette than Maiden saw it. Talking about assassinating their overlord. This proves to you that demons really are foul creatures. I have to tell her about this. You don't understand what the Maiden is thinking. What is better off with less demons? They're all cold, ruthless creatures that should be destroyed. And those same creatures have just noticed you eavesdropping. The maiden takes off into the castle, and you have no choice but to follow. Burst into the overlord's room, the maiden frantically tries to communicate what you just overheard. Even underling barges in next, calling you liars. It's followed by the group from the entrance, who shifts the blame back to the, onto, the little, onto the little one. These demons only care about themselves. How low can they be? You begin shouting at them, and the whole room dissolves in noise till the overlord yells for everyone to shut their traps. threatens them with violence. This overlord is no better than her subjects. Ah. So, Hero came very close to over overcoming his demon prejudices, but uh, this revolution is only uh, confirming his suspicions. We pursue it tightly. If you have to cut through everyone here to get to this maiden's safety, you certainly will. With demons hissed to each other before shutting the door, leaving, leaving the runt the litter behind. Glance around for another exit, but there isn't one. You have a terrible feeling about this. The instant, the whole room is in flames. What kind of demonic magic is this? The underling pounds at the door, upset that it's been betrayed. You join it, vowing to slay the cowardly demons on the other side. Use your sword. The next moment, the overlord has taken hold of the underling. It's crying for mercy. She thrusts her claws into the underling's chest and lets out a horrible scream. Back away. You won't be the next target of her rage. She used to dig and twist her claws into its limp body. You can no longer watch. Look to the maiden. She's crying, hands clasped together in prayer. To have faith in a time like this, you envy her. Two of you, the overlord and the underling's corpse, are all consumed by flames. Hey, have a good evening, Care. Thanks for hanging out. Resigned here, end. Resigned to his death. Ooh. Feeling. I don't think we have seen the uh, Overlord's version of that scene. I think you're right. There's one thing I want to do first, though, I think. Uncheck Resolute. Keep Obedient checked. Which means Maiden will come back alone. So, to the castle disloyal. Might get us, mm, but this might just get us extra dialogue, not a new ending. Maybe it's not worth doing, but what the heck? Let's see what happens. Let's overthrow her. You're out. 
You're in a good mood today. I'm rather curious about what the maiden has to say. Humans don't usually talk to you. This is kind of exciting. You hadn't guessed it would even be possible to understand each other before now. Alright. Tongue Alright, kill the overlord. Alright, outside to talk more about the plan. Hmm. Maiden's back! You and your friends turned and noticed the maiden from earlier has overheard your entire conversation. It'd be bad for you if the overlord found out about this. Ooh! So that's your next personality trait. Made for killing practice. This is this is just the way it has to be, you declare. For jumping her and clawing her guts out. Turns out you're already an expert at ending lives. Your friends call you a show off. You go back into the castle and uh wash off all the icky human blood. Finishing up, you hear the sounds of battle outside. Heroes come. Seeing the dead maiden must have made him pretty angry. You're just thinking. If this hero took down the overlord for you, everything might actually work out in your favor. Wait for things to die down outside before poking your head out. Not the overload and the hero locked in the Oh It's about the overload and hero locked into battle. They've worn each other down, making this ease very easy for you. Once the opening presents itself, you get the back of the hero's head, knocking him out. Ah, so hero's vengeance scene from Underling's perspective. What are you doing? Couldn't you tell this was a duel? You know, respond. You have to carry out the assassination! You tackle her and reap her to shreds with your claws until she stops moving. Finish off the hero next. You can't let him revive and come after you later. Kind of a cheap victory, but it doesn't make any difference. And anyone who managed to survive comes crawling out of their hiding places. You're the new ruler of, the, you're the new ruler of this castle. The subjects bow before you. You live in fear of that you, they will one day betray you as you had betrayed your overlord. But just another way to Lord Underling. Okay. That gets us our, uh... Next personality trait, though. We're gonna replay that. Here we're out. Let's kill the Overlord. Those are in the dungeon. Your your friend sees the maiden and pick her to the dungeon under the castle. It's empty, save for the decorative skulls. They're only there to make it feel more spooky. <laughs> I love that. The maiden is very upset. Leave her in the cell to continue scheming with your friends. Now a hero has arrived at the front gates. He's asking about a maiden, perhaps the very one you just locked up. The gatekeeper, who must have seen everything, tells the hero exactly what happened. Two, only has two traits so far. Yeah, we need to give the... We do need to give the overlord some love, but we are just... discovering how far this uh, plot path seems to go. And just keep discovering more and more. Hello, Leah. Hello, Leona. Welcome to the bad endings. What an idiot, you think? Why give the hero an excuse to start slaughtering us? Hero yells. Prepare to face justice and other such cliche hero lines. Before driving his sword into the gatekeeper's torso. You're small compared to a lot of your friends. You were able to slip away without getting cut up by that sword. Hmm, okay, so kind of getting back to this. Alright. Hero Overlord. But... Doesn't really change that much, does it? Disloyal, disloyal. Captor gives us another ending on your path. Disloyal captor gives us an ending. Yeah, that that gives the hero the same ending. In this instance. Yeah, we haven't seen the uh Can you get another ending on Maiden's Path with Captor turned on? 
Chef did not be resolute. Maiden's theme. I love Maiden's theme. Obey here, go home. Uh, leave on our own? They immediately noticed you overheard them and decided to lock you in the dungeon before you can cause any trouble. You cry out, but the demons ignore your protests. Can't believe you escaped possibly being thrown in a cell back in your village, only to be tossed in this awful place. This is terrible. Who's going to keep these demons from harming the Overlord? You hope, you hope she can fend for herself. You sure can. With the sounds of battle echoing through the halls outside, did the hero follow you? If he's out there, your cries don't reach him. After a while, the violence seems to die down. It's impossible to tell what happened. Continue to wait, but no one comes for you. How to escape? You rot in that cell. Oh. That's sad. Imprisoned Maiden. We are rocking this here. We definitely need to give. Overlord, more attention. Thank you for the hydrate. It's a good time for a hydrate. Well, let's see. Dutiful hero. Dutiful hero, but not heroic. Get us an ending path. So I did polite. She will stay. Dutiful, but not heroic. All right, Overlord time. I don't think this matters. Back to work. Are you ready to go to sleep? Knock your door. Oh, brought the maiden back. I thought you know what that underling to do their job. Not drag strangers into your room. Looks like they took an unauthorized break away from the castle. You scold them, but ultimately they're you were the interested in this guest, so you let them off easy. That underling's not so bad. Hello, maiden. I love maidens. <laughs> and we bond. She's so good. Let us stay for a while. We are very charmed. This being is different. Yeah. Oh, battle. You're dutiful. A total cute indeed. It's only your underlings roughhousing. There's a hero here. Hero is here! You should have made it here. Why did they stop him? Hmm. Oh, vengeance. We. Here starts babbling insincere apologies and excuses, realizing his wrongdoing. But you are far beyond hearing that kind of bullshit. That look. Had it with these humans always murdering your servants for no reason. You can no longer hold yourself back and lash out at the hero. When you regain control, there is nothing left to the hero. The maiden has fled in terror. You are alone. Wrathful end. That is precisely... Yep, that's precisely what I expected. Dutiful and heroic, but not martyr. Am I covered in blood again? Yeah, these things happen. So do dutiful, heroic, and not martyr. Fed up with these maiden fleeing heroes in this underling slain castle. And straight. So we are the overlord. And they get back to work. Bring maiden? Let her stay. Oh, never worked no harm into anyone. Why does it turn out like this? You feel a sudden sharp pain through your back. 
down to see a blade protruding from your chest. Oh, that was careless of you. Just how you die. Stabbed in the back by some cowardly hero. What a joke. You're supposed to be the ruthless one. That's right. Humans can't be trusted. Now this is what they're capable of. You should remember that before letting this one in. Watch as the hero takes the maiden's hand, leading her through the sea of corpses he'd left in his wake. Cashed by a demon, at least she got what she came here for. Join your army in eternal slumber. Slain, Overlord. God, that's, de that's depressing. These hero confronting endings are quite sad. So. Diplomatic in that situation, what happens? Get back to work. Let her stay. Okay. Fun conversation. He was apparently searching for the maiden, who was rumored to have been captured by your kind. Huh? Captured? Not at all. I only wanted to meet with the Overlord. Didn't anyone read the note I left behind? Huh. After everything is explained, the hero ex expresses his relief that this whole misunderstanding hasn't led to any horrible consequences. Maiden apologizes for causing trouble, and the hero asks her to, re to return to the village with him. Confusing, confusing feelings well up inside your heart. You're surprised that you had one of those to begin with. You don't want the hero to, you don't want the hero to take this maiden away from you. Possessive. Maiden come here to, came here to be captured by you, didn't she? You'll grant her wish. You tell the hero you won't let him take her home. Maiden assures you she'll be back, but you don't budge. The hero is cautious now. If you won't let her go, maybe you demons are evil after all. If you are, I'll be forced to vanquish her. No, this is my maiden. Mine. You have no choice. You destroy the hero before you can steal your maiden away. She's frightened. I don't understand why. Didn't she say she prefers this place to her village? Now she doesn't have to leave. Uh, Yandere, overlord, and take a step towards the maiden and she backs herself into a corner. You don't understand. One thing sharp pierces your back. A hero? No, he's already... It's one of your underlings. The maiden screams. Your servant tackles you, tearing you apart with her claws. You struggle to retaliate. Uh, yeah, Overlord, you just gotta tell the hero that you're gay. The problem solved. Exactly. You've done too much damage. You can barely move now. Blood is everywhere. Can't believe this has happened to you. Why has this happened to you? You've been slain by your own underling. Betrayed, Overlord. Ending B. We got our next personality trait. So, possessive. Where's the... that got us here, though. That got us... That got us here, right? Darkhead's joke answer, flirt, I guess it came true, yeah! In a sense... That's... Strange... To stay. Let them go. I'm certain she'll return to spend more time with him, with you. You just have to trust in that, and you decide. With the hero had made gone, you plopped that into the comfort of your luxurious overlord bed. Your room feels so empty now. Is this loneliness? 
You hope your new friend will be back soon. You close your eyes for a while. Oh. Here we go. You've almost fallen asleep when the maiden and hero burst into your room, frantically trying to communicate something to you. Lord, stop sleeping. She's been told that a group of demons is plotting to assassinate you. You're not surprised. How nice are the humans to care, though? One of your underlings barges in next, shouting that the humans are liars. They're followed by another group of demons, crying that everything was the first underling's plan. Everyone is shouting at each other now. Everyone is shouting over each other now. It's very annoying. Yell for all of them to shut their traps. You have no doubt that, that your servants would let their ambition cloud their judgment and lead them to try to take your throne. Or this fool led this conspiracy. I have no choice but to punish everyone to keep you all in your place, crushed beneath my heel. Saying that, saying that made you feel very overlord-like. You aren't sure if you have the strength to back it up, though. Lately, all you do is sleep. Deep and start muttering something about going back to plan A and suddenly slam your door shut. You, the maiden, the hero, and one of your underlings are trapped inside. I feel like we might have seen. No, we haven't seen this because we can't skip. At an instant, the whole room is in flames. Underling pounds at the door, cursing at their friends, betraying them. Hero pounds the door as well, vowing to slay the cowardly demons on the other side. This is how you'll die. Burned alive in your own room by those you thought you could trust. You should have expected this from a bunch of idiot demons, though. Nor is the maiden crying. Why does she have to die over something that has nothing to do with her? Perhaps she was cursed from the moment she spoke to you. You wonder if you're cursed as well. So filled with anger and frustration, you don't even notice that you've grabbed the underling those traitors blamed everything on. And cry for mercy, saying that they were dragged into this plot and knowing they'd be killed if they took your side. Not true, but then again, Overlord's kind of... Hero's kind of on guard after we kill. I have a feeling we're going to get our next personality trait, and that personality trait is merciful. They cry that they didn't want to have to kill you. You almost feel sorry for them. Yep, I thought so. Merciful. I called that. We're gonna take retribution first, and burn. Pierce their claws into their chest with their claws. They scream. The hero backs away. He is wise not to interfere. They've stopped moving, but you keep digging and twisting your claws into them. Doesn't make you feel any better. The underling's corpse burns along with you and the two humans. Spiteful Overlord End. Reset the stage. And we'll jump back into this here. I have a day off. Stay. We'll go. And forgive. You release the underling. Killing them wouldn't make you feel any better. Besides, they've already gotten their punishment. You'll all burn together. Yeah. Oh, Overlord's true end. Before you've taken back to reset the story, once again, you pause for a moment. True end, you say to yourself. What was the point of all my effort if the true end is this terrible? I must have forgotten where you were. Get this is bad end theater. The pain setting in. Oh, but you should have been well aware of what you've been shown. You'd be shown when you entered this place... problem I've seen quite often. At some point, you grew attached to my little cast. You started to relate to their flaws, their plights. You started wishing for their happiness. But you aren't going to find that here in my theater, my lovingly crafted labyrinth of suffering. Anyway, I hope you'll pardon the interruption. You are making great progress. The choice to continue on to the next ending is always yours. I'll leave you to it, dear guest. What's a delightfully ominous, uh... Hello, Puppet Master. Let's see. We're at 31 out of 40. We haven't gotten all of your endings yet. True end. How do we get this ending, though? So. I think I have the day off. But the underling have the day off, let the maiden stay, set hero to diplomatic. 
Get the day off. Let her stay. Then keep her here. Can we get the cast to pull a Princess Tutu off and fight the writer behind the scenes? Yeah, I have a feeling that getting all the true endings is going to bring a, everyone into conflict with the uh, the playwright in this uh, in this sense. Show the hero you won't let her take him. Let him take her home. Maybe shows you she'll be back, but you don't budge. He was cautious now. Mm, forced to vanquish you, destroy the hero. He's frightened. Backs off in a quarter. You don't understand. Oh, no. This is betrayal. Hmm. Un unchecked disloyal. No, dark. Because the ending I'm trying to get specifically involves being possessive. Ah! Everything you've done has only hurt them more. What the shit? Well, that's ominous. That's delightfully ominous. I love it. So, day off. Let her stay. Keep her here. So this way... Yeah, that's definitely new. Okay, destroyed. She's frightened. You don't understand why. I, uh, I think the yeah the the underlings' rebellion seems to uh, overwrite this ending. She's frightened. You don't understand why. She backs herself into a corner. You don't understand. She wanted to stay here with you. The hero was trying to get in the way of that. You had to kill him. And be sure to keep this maiden very safe from now on. Oh, okay. Now we're getting the Yandere ending. Selfish overlord end. A letter flutters down from beyond the curtain. Found lost letter number four. Ooh. How do we check these? Oh. Hello. My love, do you remember when we first met? I just finished one of my scripts. When I was quite proud of in fact. As I read it aloud, you happened to pass by. What a terrible ending, you said. Why should these poor fools have to die? You're so rude. I wouldn't accept any of my justifications. And yet, you managed to convince me. It really would be better if everyone could live in harmony. However unrealistic that felt. I look back fondly on that day, even now. wonder if somewhere you're thinking of it too. Number four, because we've completed going in order from left to right, we've got all of Overlord's endings. That's probably why we got number four. Yep, lost letter number four. Yes. Ooh, right. Where'd we go from here? Merciful. Possessive. So, antisocial and possessive. Overlord. Uh, diplomatic. And trusting. Diplomatic. Hero. Oh no, antisocial. Meets the Overlord. Maiden stays with the Overlord for a while. So we do not be obedient. So disloyal underling. Diplomatic hero. Get us two endings from this branch. Noticing merciful is probably going to unlock all these true endings here. Which is the true ending being that everyone burns to death in the Overlord's room. 
That's what I'm starting to see, because notice this is in the same place on the float chart. Some of the endings that are, like, just different... Okay, some of them line up, but some of them... Maybe it's not entirely one-to-one. -one. Everything that has only hurt them more. Yes, thank you. <laughs> that is concerning. So, possessive... Antisocial is fine. Diplomatic. Alright. Disloyal will get us one ending here. Real burning death was the friends we made along the way. I love Bane's theme. Introduce ourselves? Refuse to leave. Put your foot down and tell her you're not going anywhere. You still want to fulfill your destiny, even if you have to make it happen on your own. She's a little frustrated at your stubbornness, but she doesn't kick you out or anything. Hooray! Three stories. Oh, shit. Hero asks if you're willing, if you'll return to the village with him to give everyone the news of your safety. The Overlord objects to the hero's suggestion. You tell her you plan on returning soon, but she isn't having it. Feel nervous. The hero puts on a brave face for you. If you'll let her go, maybe you demons are evil after all. And if you are, I'll be forced to vanquish you. You leave me no choice. Your vote suddenly jumps the hero. She tears into him with her claws. You want to cry out, but the scream catches your throat. Watch, because you can't look away. Mm. Has she really been lying to you all along? Wonder, is this your punishment for questing the divine plan? The overlord approaches you now. You back yourself into a corner. Her expression is, com is complicated. That's one way of putting it. Being captured by the overlord in a horrible way like this was your destiny after all. The overlord stops, or rather, someone has stopped her. Whatever held back your scream of before doesn't stop you this time. The overlord is being ripped to shreds like one of her demon underlings. I think you recognize them, but it's hard to tell with all that blood. Everyone stop moving now. The room is silent, save for the underlings' heavy breathing. You think of what they've done. Even though it was awful. You feel they've been rescued from a terrible fate. They look at you, confused for a moment, but then puff out their chest. You should probably go home. This place is dangerous. You follow their advice and make your way out of the castle. Decide never to leave home again for the rest of your life. Escape Maiden in B. Nice of the, uh... Nice of Underling to not kill us there. Real speed of them. God, it <laughs> That theme song's so charming. You can't get over that. Alright. Alright, so... The Overlord approaches you now. You back yourself into a corner. There are demons here, I think. That's a very in-character thing for oh, for uh, Underling to say. Her expression is complicated. Being captured by the Overlord in a horrible way like this was your destiny after all. She vows to keep you very safe from now on. You're afraid to find out what that means, but there's no one left to save you. You belong to the Overlord now. Captured Maiden End A. Another way to get that? Okay, we sent you to merciful, antisocial, we'd be obedient. Trusting diplomatic. Okay. Yeah! We'll get your true ending next. Introduce yourself. Hello, friend. Now we're gonna leave. Yeah! Grab the hero and run! He's wrong. Oh. Oh, wait, shoot. Fucked up. on fire. Is your overload alright? You have to be sure everyone is safe. I'm afraid to take it up or the hero could even think of stopping you. Okay. We just got burned staircase. Alright. Need to make you disloyal first. I 
know I could use saves, but uh, I just like going through it all again. Grab the hero and run. You know, you pray. You know what else to do, so you just pray. The overlord spares the underling. If you relieve, but does it make any difference? Will you all burn together? Maiden's true end. Oh, a letter flutters down from beyond the curtain. Found lost letter number two. Ooh. Keep collecting bad ends for now. Don't know what's gonna I don't know what that's gonna give us, but I wanna collect all the bad ends first. Gather in death. My love, I finally fulfilled a childhood dream of mine. Yes, that's right. Open up my very own theater. You'll be so proud. If you can only see it, I know how much it would have meant to you to be at my side on opening night. I'm sorry for going ahead without you. I thought, if my theater could become world famous, then maybe you just might hear of it. Wherever you are, forever yours, tragedy. Hmm. A tragedy. Right into their love. What is this? Oh, can we can so we can trigger that at any point? Interesting. Just two true endings gets us uh here we need to go. Okay, diplomatic possessive. Disobedient. Get us underlings next ending. It could be. I feel like possibly. It would make a lot of sense, Lilac, if that was the case. So let's go. Possessive Overlord. Diplomatic hero. You're an underling. Underling's theme is also nice. Disloyal? Hmm. So I've dragged into plan. Plot. This guidance, your guidance. Hmm. You have to be the one to assassin the overlord. Oh, you sneak up to the Overlord's room, but there's a couple of humans in there. You watch the scene unfold. You aren't sure why, but the Overlord suddenly cuts down the hero. She approaches the maiden you brought to her earlier. The Overlord distracted, you figure this is as good a chance as any. You launch a sneak attack, getting her right in the back. She flinches, giving you enough advantage to take her down. You rip the Overlord apart until she stops moving. That's messier than you would have liked. Maiden mutters something from the corner. Th th thank you for, for saving me. It wasn't your intention, but it sounds like you did something heroic. You told the maiden to go home. This place is dangerous. He follows your advice and leaves the castle. Your castle. You're the new overlord. Heroic underling end. Hell yeah. We are super heroic. Now, what we need... Resolute, trusting, obedient. Resolute, obedient. Trusting. Check that. Antisocial, obedient, trusting, resolute, merciful. Because I'm a hero now. I'm a hero overlord. So I'm going to be disloyal. This should be enough to get Underling's true end. Here, out. Right? Let's kill the Overlord. Alright, officer. And if we do this right. Yep, they're back. And they're going into the castle. They just stole two rolls. Why are we getting Maiden Overlord then? Maven. Maiden Overlord. Maiden Overlord. Maiden Underling. Kill you for sure if you found out you were conspiring to take her out. Dash in the castle. 
humans awake, you shout that humans are liars. Don't blame the whole thing on you. You're scared to refuse your crazy plan. I can't believe they tell the Overlord such a blatant lie. The one who didn't have a choice here. Overlord demands silence. I'm gonna punish everyone. You doubt her strength. Well, she does to sleep lately. Pretend to be with the Overlord and two humans. Mr. the fuck. Oh, yeah. And the room bursts into flames. Found the door, screaming so curses at those who betrayed you. Your own joins you, vowing to slay the lot of them. You wish you'd get that chance. The Lord grabs you by the throat. You cry for mercy. You're forced into this mess. You're sure now that they would have killed you if, they'd, if you'd sided with her. To your surprise, the Overlord spares you. And we should rather see you suffer instead. Looking around, you've just gone from one dead end to another. Maiden is crying. The hero is silent. You'll all, you'll all burn together. Underling's true end. Out of the perspective, the true ending remains the same. That's what makes it true. You couldn't resist seeing it for yourself, though, could you? What will happen when you collect them all? Will you give in to despair, or... Let her flutter stand from behind the curtain. Lost letter three. So, lost letter three. My love, I've been feeling a little depressed lately. Many patrons have to come to my theater. None so far have stayed to experience every tale in its entirety. Critics haven't been exactly been kind, but I understand. My stories aren't exactly crowd pleasers. Despite that, you've always listened. You've always listened to the very end. I'm grateful for that. Hope to see you again soon. Is the twist gonna be with all burn? And yeah, not exactly with you burning. must really be enjoying my tragedies. The way that letter is worded, I feel like, almost, that by getting all of the endings... We are... honestly going to, uh... be revealed to be uh, tragedies long lost love. Now it's time to get heroes. What are we missing for hero? Possessive. So we need... Diplomacy. Possessive. This won't make a difference. Yeah. We'll do precisely that. See if we can't load back up after getting the true ending. If that's even possible. Oh, don't replay the tutorial. So. If we are diplomatic. So polite. Antisocial, but obedient, so you're gonna stay. Possessive. So, hero time. Flee like a coward. Be diplomatic? That was easy. The overlord and the maiden seem to be in the middle of some casual conversation when you barge in. You all look at each other in surprise and confusion. It's no time to hesitate. Hmm. That's what's going on. Oh, she was never actually captured. And she, that she came here of her own volition. That's a pretty dangerous thing for her to do, but no one got hurt, so at least there's that. We ask her to return to town with you to reassure everyone of your safety. But the Overlord objects to this. The Maiden tried to tell her that she'll come right back, but the Overlord refuses to hear it. The Maiden seems nervous. As a hero, it's your job to med mediate situations like these. You told the Overlord that if she doesn't let the two of you go, you'll have to assume she's evil. You'll be forced to vanquish her. You leave me no choice. It's Morbin time. The Overlord pauses before suddenly jumping you. You are helpless as she disembowels you with her claws. How horrible. Come all this way, and we met with this cruel fate. You should destroy these evil creatures while you had the chance. Your dying wishes for the maiden to somehow make it out of this alive. Naive hero. Did not trust. So. 
so. Leave the Maiden's true story. Resolute Maiden gets us to true end. If we uncheck this loyal encounter. So. Obedient she leaves, antisocial. Overlord lets her leave. Uncheck resolute. This loyal captor gets us in here. So if we uncheck both of these, you'll see a new hero path, probably? So we flee. Do not cause danger. Leave her story. Okay. Here becomes dark and thick as you enter deep into the demon territory. Evil miasma? No, you realize it's just normal smoke. You see the maiden ahead, but she stopped in her tracks. The overlord's castle is engulfed in flames. You only taken an eye off the maiden for a second, but she's already disappeared. You get closer to the castle, but the smoke is so thick now, you think of turning back. The maiden might need, might need your help. You can barely see. She could be impossible to find. She could have been lying to you all along. But this is a trap. Would it be worth risking your life on that chance? Your legs feel heavy. No. Going in there would be suicide. You return to the villagers and tell them there was nothing you could do. You're too late. The maiden was claimed by the demons. Bystander hero end. Yeah, that about, uh... That about tracks. So, dutiful. Dutiful hero. Ah, uh, we'll uncheck possessive. That might get us into trouble. Let's slaughter. No one could argue this game is a tragic comedy of sorts. There's a lot of light-hearted elements, especially with the silly expressions and occasional direct jokes, but everything the characters do ends in tragedy. Even the endings where one of the two characters escape feature them altered by their mistakes or the dark decisions made by others. Yeah. Like... There is no good ending where the maiden leaves the castle alive. For example... Bravely slaughter. Get to the demon army. Now these games are often like that. Yeah. Tragic comedy is. That's a very fit description. Find the maiden being held captive by the Overlord, just you suspect it. For some reason, you can't sense anything sinister happening. You're all looking at each other in surprise confusion. There's no time to hesitate. Now. With this, ask the maiden what's going on. We are all traumatized. She explained that she came here on her own and was never in any danger. She hesitantly asks why you're covered in blood. You don't know how to respond. The overlord moves past you and out the door. To see your army in lifeless blood pi bloody piles. Yeah, there's, like, there's usually... Uh... True end path of source to see in here. I have not played Silver Syrup in the Ultimate Suite. I've heard there's a lot of uh, very depressing ending, depressing and traumatic endings in that game. I've played some early games. Like I think I've actually played Drowning Drowning on the YouTube. I've seen Kaina played. The very similar vibes. Uh, very sapphic outcome. Uh, 
in a very depressing world. No false advertising here, yeah. And also, this is the first time we've seen this from Hero's perspective. She's wailing. It's horrible. This is your chance, Hero. We will actually... This just gives an ending variation. Stab! Dreamed it falls silent. The other one has been slain. Leave. It's hardly quiet. Triumphant hero end. Go back in here. This is all just a big misunderstanding. I'm sure that this whole thing slipped. You could just explain yourself. You really try, but the Overlord is inconsolable. She tears you apart, and the maiden watches in silence. As you die, you can't help but think you probably deserve this. Fair. I set the stage. Now. So, we merciful overlord. Interestingly, there's two possible ways to get here. Underling is to be disloyal. What's the easiest way to get here? So... Make you disloyal. You're merciful. Realistically, this is probably the best way to get here, I think. Alright, hero time. Flee like a coward. Let me in, please. Any conversation? Nothing what's going on. No one got hurt. The overlord allows the two of you to leave, and you casually exit the castle. You pause when you see a group of suspicious demons standing near the entrance. You're talking about assassinating their overlord. We have to tell her about this. Hmm. Less demons. Yeah, they shall be destroyed. Alright. Running in. All the liars. It's a very interesting choice. I suppose Overlord displaying mercy. Possibly the catalyst to spawning a true ending off of the true endings in his path. Oh, how low can they be? Shout at them. Hit them with violence. Hmm. They shut the door. A room that lights in in flames. Upset has been betrayed. You join it, vowing to slay the cowardly demons on the other side. This with the Overlord has taken hold of the Underling. It's crying for mercy. She's going to kill this retribution. It continues to cry. Make excuses, but the Overlord does nothing. Oh. To your surprise, she lets it go. Are demons capable of mercy? Yeah. I guess it doesn't matter now. It's all burned together. Hero's true end. Letter flutters down from beyond the curtain. False letter number one. Get all the letters. Set the stage. My love, it just isn't fair at all, is it? Them to force us apart like this. It's unreasonable. Cruel. I have to find an outlet for this grief somehow. I decide to write, and I'll keep writing until the day you find me once more. Then maybe we can write letters. We can write a story together. I'm waiting for that day. Wherever yours, tragedy. But I filled a childhood dream of mine. Yes, that's right. Put it by your very own theater. You must, you would be so proud. If you'd only see it, I'd know how much it would have meant to you to be at my side on opening night. I'm sorry for going ahead without you, but I thought if my theater could become world famous, then maybe you just might hear of it, wherever you are. Tragedy. Three. My love, I've been feeling a little depressed lately. 
many patrons have come to my theater, but none so far have stayed to experience every tale in its entirety. The critics haven't exactly been kind, but I understand. My stories aren't exactly crowd-pleasers. Despite that, you always listen to, listen to the very end. I'm grateful for that. Hope to see you again soon. Tragedy. And lastly... My love, do you remember when we first met? I just finished one of my scripts. One I was quite proud of, in fact. When I read it aloud, you happened to pass by. What a terrible ending, you said. Why should these poor fools have to die? You were so rude. You didn't accept any of my justifications. And yet, I managed to convince me. But it would be better if everyone could live in harmony. However unrealistic that felt. Look back fondly on that day even now. I wonder if somewhere you're thinking of it too. Forever yours. Tragedy. Alright. Congratulations! You've explored every path I had to offer. Thanks for playing. Yep, now we have no choice but to go into the ending. Can't end like this. You want to answer the maiden's prayers. You've decided to find a way to save everyone. If you're tracing the path you've seen so far, there doesn't seem to be any room to avoid a bad ending. Is there really anything you can do to keep them all from getting killed in the end? There's nothing you can do by acting from within this, their story. Maybe it's time to take things into your own hands. Oh? Oh, oh, wow. Bain is burning. Choose another role. The hero is burning. Choose another role. The other thing is burning. Yeah. Choose another role. The overload is burning. Are you safe here? Yes. Alright, we are question mark, question mark, question mark. Boldly insert yourself into this story. Use your incredible power to warp everyone to safe, but... Do you know you could do that? But what's going on here? Take a moment to get a good look at yourself. You are... You! But why are you pitch black? You feel that this body doesn't accurately represent you, but you move past it. The hero, Maiden, Underling, and Overlord have been staring at you too. Like they don't really know what they're supposed to do right now. Because that's because you're usually the one guiding them. What do you say to them? Hi guys. You smile awkwardly and introduce yourself. The maiden is first to respond. My prayers have been answered. You must be. Her god? Oh no, you're merely the player. If there was any god here, they'd be the final boss. That's just how role these role-playing games go. Uh, what? <laughs> Now you realize what the real true ending must be. <laughs> now, 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 enough of this. I bet I've been encouraging you all along, but a self insert story? How passe. You watch helplessly as tragedy descends on the heavens. <laughs> you didn't honestly believe that you were the only one who could force your way onto the stage, did you? I am the narrator, storyteller, god of this world. Call me a tragedy if you'd like. Ah! Darkness develops your party. You don't mind if I send each of them back to the relive one of their many bad endings, right? You are alone in this darkness with me, tragedy. Sincerely really hope you've been enjoying your time in my theater. Are you a bad enough redacted? To save the foursome. Lovers reuniting? Perhaps. Though I can't abide you stealing the show without permission, it's quite disrespectful. I'm sick of all these bad endings. And frankly, you should never have come to the place called Bad End Theater. Haven't we already been over this? I think defeating me might be the only way to, send, to see a better ending. That's all that's left for you, isn't it? Well, this does sound like it could be entertaining. Show me what you've got. Actually, uh, you are you. I want to see something new. Are you trying to see by, say my bad endings have gone out of style? You have some nerve. Show me what you've got. Time to fight God! 
is, is this? Ooh. All right. The stage is set for your final battle against me, the god of this world. What will you do? How will you fight against tragedy itself? I'd love to see it. Defend. You try closing off your heart to protect yourself, but does it make you feel any better? Or was that all? Never defeat me like that. You're right. Perhaps you don't understand just how outclassed you are here. What? Behold my beautifully tragic tales. Doesn't seeing them all make your heart ache? Ah! Defense pose. Yeah. You've witnessed all 41 of my painstakingly crafted endings. You must be as much of a masochist as me. Defend your thoroughness. Surely these characters have a special place in your heart. They're still suffering backstage. You know, it's a shame you couldn't make it here to the end of the world. That's right. You came here to save them. Can't do this alone. What? <laughs> Summon! Find the hero in his home. Hunched up for a sewing table. Your sudden intrusion scares the hell out of the poor guy. Are you some kind of demon? Can you explain that? No, you're not a demon. You're. How can you explain it in a way that the hero can understand? Instead, you ask what he's sewing. Oh, this? I craft all my own hero gear. Since his pride in his hobby, I wonder if the costumes are what attract him to the role of hero. Would you like some clothes? You don't seem to be wearing any. You have the state of your body and decide that yes, some clothes would, from the hero would be nice. So overjoyed by your answer. Apparently his outfits are too gaudy for the other townsfolk, so no one else wants them. So isn't the first visual novel I've seen to end with a JRPG fight? I need to know more of these. Katka, I need I want more visual novels to end with JRPG fights. You must you must elucidate and Tell me more. The truet for the hero suddenly becomes clear. You offer to change his fate. I can make a living as a tailor, rather than a hero? Please tell me what I can do to reach that dream. The hero will now fight alongside you. Oh shit. I agreed to follow you, but I didn't expect to face something like this. The hero has arrived. We really could have a final boss battle without him. He's the one who's been killing us. Murderer. I can't truly call myself a hero until I see you defeated. We'll see about that. <laughs> That's a... Had of a boyfriend. Oh, no. And girls were... And girls. Bad boys love... Oh... Isn't bad boys love, like, the true end, the true path, the secret path or something? A terrible fate! Oh no. I've taken damage. Willpower. Even if, ten Even if terror ends here, tragedy, I refuse to give in. The hero uses willpower to overcome tragedy. Tragedy is reeling. Oh shit. Give me an overlord. Go to the overlord's room. If we leave to see the fire contained in the torches on the walls. Secret path? Yeah. When you close the door behind her, you, the overlord rises from her slumber. Who are you? Have you come to reside in my castle and serve me? Can you explain that? No, you're not here to serve her. It's more like you've come to do her a favor. You ask why she spends all day sleeping instead of commanding her demon army. She laughs in response. Enemy underlings certainly think I could be more aggressive with the humans like my father before me. His quest for revenge was endless and self-perpetuating. There's a reason I had to destroy him. The true purpose of tragedy is catharsis. Indeed. Indeed, Leona. I think that's where this has to be going. I feel like that's the uh, eventual end point of this fight. I cannot but think it's a little late in the game to be getting some new backstory. <laughs> I have no interest in waging war on the humans. I really wish to be left alone to live a peaceful, indulgent life in my castle. Hmm. You realize she must actually be very lonely. Being surrounded by soldiers instead of friends. No wonder she gets so attached to me. The, the true end with the Overlord suddenly becomes clear. You offer to change her fate. My own attempts at peace have been rather imperfect. If you offer a solution, then very well, I'll follow you. 
Hell yeah, Overlord time. I see. This is tragedy. Ah, you've brought the Overlord. I don't stand a chance now. Prevented me from attaining peace for long, for long enough. Prepare to die. <laughs> if you're prepared to face your death as well. Tragedy attacks with a terrible fate. Well, that is cool. Ambition. Reached my true ending with my own power. The Overlord uses their ambitious nature to overcome tragedy. Boom. Tragedy is reeling. Let's summon. A fighter and a mage can win the pose, yeah. Time to summon a cleric. I have to find the maiden as she exits the church. Her heart set on meeting a demon. Perfect timing. She approaches you, having already taken notice of your odd form. <gasps> Excuse me, are you a traveler? I've never seen anyone like you before. You explained that no, you're not a traveler. Well, maybe you are, in a sense, if you've come all this way. Maiden regards you with excited curiosity. And perhaps you might be a demon. I was hoping I'd beat one today. Think of all the terrible fates that hope would bring about. She's the catalyst of this story, after all. Guess the underling's the rogue or the barbarian, then, yeah. Well, as a maiden is be captured by the Overlord. Uh, gee, but you see, I've grown so tired of waiting. We remember this part. She wanted to understand her role better, and so... Yes, what it is that she's really hoping to gain from this. Maiden is confused by your question. Perhaps it was as simple as wanting to reach the place she felt like she belonged. What you end for this maiden suddenly becomes clear. Offer to change her fate. <sighs> There's something I can do to find fulfillment, then please... Guide me! That expression is precious. Maiden will now fight alongside you. Oh. What is this horrible creature? You won't be, dear Maiden. Is tragedy really such a terrible thing to behold? I remember now. I remember all the awful things you put us through. This should be familiar to you as well. Tragedy attacks the terrible fate. Oh, that's a terrible fate indeed. Kindness. Maiden tries to appeal to tragedy with kindness. So naive. A balance her kindness to my cruelty. Oh, wow, oh, double attack. That's rude. Hope. Our true ends do exist. They simply... Okay, I get this. So you got a choice. Our true ends do exist. They simply must... Maiden hopes with all her heart to overcome tragedy. Tragedy is reeling. Now let's summon our, uh... Delightful gremlin friend. You approach the gates of the Overlord's castle. The underling's on guard duty, as you expected. They call out to you. The other demon is guard is sound asleep. Hey, you're a pretty weird-looking intruder. What do you want? You explain that no, you're not an intruder. Though you're definitely intruding into their story right now. Tell the underling yet that you've come to save them from tragedy. Okay. Try to, try to save me from boredom first. I hate this job. The underling snickers. You ask what kind of job they'd rather have. It'd be best if I didn't have to work at all. I just want to live a carefree life and never get bossed around or picked on. Because the underling's friends who had bullied them into an assassination plot only to betray them in the end. If they kept better company, they really wouldn't feel so restless. The true ending for this underling suddenly becomes clear. You offer to change their fate. Hmm, there's a way that even work could be fun? Sounds fake, but I'll tag, tag along with you just in case. Alright, underling will now fight alongside of us. Oh, yep, that's a rogue pose. Wait, wh wait, what the fuck? You didn't say anything about a boss battle? The underling, huh? You must be desperate to call upon such an unreliable ally. Huh, if I beat this guy up, all my problems will be over. Oh, but it won't be that easy. Tragedy attacks with a terrible fate. Ha ha ha. Now that the whole party's here, can you solve my final puzzle? Which combination of behaviors will open the path to your true ending? Show me. Clearly tenacity. Not be done, I'll just come back stronger. And then use their tenacity to overcome tragedy. Is it? With everyone's hearts united, you take aim. Towards your best possible futures. 
Cleric, Mage, Fighter, and Rogue. You all unleash one final attack to destroy tragedy once and for all. HP zero. <laughs> You've done it. You've managed to defeat me. Tragic ending for tragedy itself. I love it. I must thank you all for fulfilling your roles perfectly. Thank you, hero. Thank you, Baden. Huh? Thank you, underling. Is himself? Thank you, overlord. Now this nonsense, we defeat you, so die already. Don't worry, I'll be making my exit shortly. Why, well, thank you most of all. We couldn't have made it here without you. Mage is even pink. Matches all the characters I, ma I make in CRPGs. Aw. That's perfect, actually. Yes, my bad in theater did contain a truly good ending after all. I apologize for antagonizing you for so long. I wanted to deliver a satisfying story. Was I able to do it? I wonder. Yet. Yeah. Oh, we can't save here. We can't actually save here. Who are we? We are us. Yes, yeah, save is specifically disabled here. So what do you think? Are we satisfied? Are we satisfied with this ending? Or, uh... Are we not? Yeah, maybe. Not satisfied. No, I am. Maybe. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm on board with Team No. Well, I did my best. Happy endings shouldn't always come easily. Reality is not so kind. But you've heard this one. Here's your true ending. Oh. Here's your true ending. Alright. Hero becomes a tailor. Perhaps. Oh. oh, wow, music. I don't think becomes a fashion model? Overlord and Maiden, engaging in diplomacy. With Hyo as well. Oh, living together in the tower. Here we are. Perhaps it is us, perhaps this is tragedy. Oh, this is us. Oh, the song Vocal Synth Eleanor Forte. The database you edit. Oh. That's really cool. Following the threads. I missed you, my darling. Your true end. Something's missing. Something's missing. Hmm? Oh, you're still here. The curtain has closed for the final time. I'm shutting down my theater. There are no more tragedies left for me to tell, after all. What's your story, tragedy? Me? You'd like to know why I started this theater? <laughs> because I'm obsessed with bad endings, of course. Move the mask. Gently raise your fingers to the cracks in my mask. Piece by piece, it falls apart in your hands, revealing... <gasps> I should have warned you. This might affect what you think of my stories. I can't help but compare my face to the mains. Oh, I'm not her. 
It's not like she isn't me, necessarily. That's how it is with fiction. Would you like to hear? Not another ending, but... The truth? Tell me. Alright. One last story. You may already know this, but... It doesn't have an happy ending. First, I'll set the stage. In this world, there are no such things as demons, or even heroes, really. There was a girl eager to set out. To fulfill some sort of destiny. That part was true. She met someone. Another girl. <laughs> a writing theme, isn't it? The Maiden and the Overlord. The two were inseparable, and for a time, everything was just wonderful. The families, the communities they came from, neither could approve of their relationship. And the reality for many, this pair was no different. Despite their best efforts, the world was intent on pulling them apart. Oh. The whole fact the letter had pink text made it likely that the Maiden and the Overlord were attached in the real, to the real world. Oh, the obsession with tragedies. The, uh, heartbreak. The Maiden setting out. Indigo flower against a pink sky. Oh, I see where this is going already in my heart. The maiden, the catalyst of the maiden leaving to seek something different, to find a place where she belongs, only leading to despair. The maiden coming home, preaching that the demons were, uh, also, uh, preaching that the demons weren't so bad, and then immediately being turned on by her home, her family. Not her family specifically, but her village. Overlord constantly being overthrown. Two of them constantly being torn apart. Of course. She. No. We. We used to like the types of stories where love conquers all. Where the strength of your love will pull you through any hardship. Everything is okay in the end. I lost her. Then I started this theater. Both the demons being queer, and non the only non-queer protagonist being the hero. Yeah. This story... does have a happy ending. Huh? Ah! I was hoping to find you. It's you! It's been so long. I'd never see you again. I always think of the worst endings. I wasn't about to give up just because things got difficult. Why didn't you reveal yourself sooner? You look such a fool. I'd say the same to you. You know I could never resist giving your stories a happy ending. So of course I'd be drawn to a place like this. Yes, but... I didn't think it would actually work. <laughs> Sometimes everything does turn out okay in the end. Thank you for reminding me of that. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Aww. Now, truly, everyone can live happily ever after. Tragedy's end. Once on a windswept night. Oh. Music. Yeah! Battle, Doom, Lost, Requiem. That was really intelligent. Yeah! Wow, that was really good. Character select.
attack the ending before getting all endings. You'd like to have the true true ending, as far as I know. That makes sense. That's why this exists. That makes perfect sense. Once we enter, we are closed. I think we want to see, my love, but if you'd like to reset. If you really want to ex experience everything all over again, I'm happy to oblige to begin the resetting process. Never mind. <laughs> You're so fickle. You know if you want to change your mind. Yeah, the theater is closed now. Probably why you can save the main screen. Yeah. We have to end off, though. I'm gonna do it with the uh, my favorite song in the game. I love that song. It's so good. It's so peppy and wholesome and good. Oh god, what did I say? That was delight. That was... Whew! Good end theater. Yes. Good end theater. We have done it. Deep down, there's a good end. All along. Some sometimes things do end up working out alright. Even in this fucking world that can so easily tear us apart and beat us down. Very charming and cute as you expect from Nami. Indeed. Very charming and cute with the uh, equal mix of uh, heartbreaking content, heartbreaking content, terrifying content. And uh, the good ending is the friends we made along the way. No, twin, the good ending is the friends that we had all along. That sounded better in my head, you're right, though. The good, ending, the good ending was the friends we made along the way. You are... You, you, yeah, you're right. That's, I had something cooler planned in my head, in my head but... Uh, yeah, glad you can make it to the end, Dark. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night, and have a good night at school. Tomorrow. I think it quite matches Syrup with the ultimate sweet. Maybe a few others of hers in my view. Have a good night, everyone.